everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I have with me Jennifer from Just Jennifer Hi. TV and uh, Jennifer is an amazing makeup artist. So today the video that we're going to be doing, we're going to be testing makeup brushes. So we're going to do one look which is actually a Cara Delevingne red carpet look with a red lip this lip. <laughs> this look in This fact. look basically. Yeah. We're testing this yeah. look. So we're going to be doing this look with and without makeup brushes. It's going to be a bit of a test for Jen because Challenge. being a makeup artist she is used to styling away with her. Hundreds of brushes. Yeah. All the brushes. Loads of brushes. Yeah so brush. we've got a lot of different brushes here which will be used on the second look. So watch ahead which way is that? This way? This way? <laughs> that way. <laughs> um, to see which one works best. I would always apply moisturiser with my hands. I don't really see the point in putting this on with a brush. Okay, I'm really not used to using foundation uh, with my hands, so this is going to be a challenge. Okay, Megan's got beautiful skin, so she doesn't need a lot of foundation. a NYX palette here. I'm going to mix the top two colours. Use the kind of heel of your hand there, just at the bottom. So I'm just going to pat over. See you later mate. <laughs> you absolutely can't use a powder <laughs> with your hands. Um, how are you going to do it? I don't know, I think that we're just going to have to not contour, um, maybe use a cream highlight. I'm gonna try the blush, I think. Okay, that's interesting. So my finger has picked up the gold from the pink, but not very much of the pink. Okay, so this little bad boy is an Ico um, waterproof shadow liner. Woo! Looks amazing. I'm gonna use it as a Highlighter. Now, the thing that I think that Megan's missing is powder. Can you see that we've got a bit of shine? Obviously we have this shine here, but you can't use your hands to powder, so she's gonna have to just have a really glowy finish. I'm actually gonna use a, a little bit of a hack. If you only have your hands and no tools, then using a cream eyeshadow which we're using here, which these are, oh my god, I'm in love with them, Makeup Forever. So I'm going to just be careful about my placement since we don't have a brush to blend away. I'm going to use this Too Faced, I'm going to use this colour Cloves, this one here. I've got a Too Faced liner here that I'm going to use. Um, and it's got a little smudger, so let's have a go. I'm going to not use the brush on brows because I think that's really cheating because styling brows is... This is um, a Diego de la Palma number 12. Megan's got lovely thick brows so I would love to groom them. Make a big difference, but instead, I'm going to use the pencil to almost push them up. It's an Ico mascara, it's waterproof. I quite like it being in a tube. Yes. Oh, I like how it's curved, it kind of hugs your lashes. Okay, lips. Uh, to be honest, I don't normally use a lip brush. I'm just going to warm it up and get a good amount of colour on the back of my hand here. So I'm going to use this Makeup Forever brush. Love it. Um, just to apply, just to have a bit more direction, and you'll see people go on and on and on about it being quicker with hands, but I promise you, it's quicker with a brush. Uh, 
I'm a big fan of multifunctional brushes, <laughs> so I'm going to use this Kiko brush, which is retractable. Um, and it's really important when you're trying to cover up a spot, if you're using a creamy concealer, you really want to warm that concealer up with a synthetic brush, I think it's the best. I found it difficult to get close to Megan's lash line because obviously I didn't want to poke her eye out with my fingernail. Um, so you've got a brush, you're going to have a lot more control. I'm still going to use this quite um, quite thick um, NYX or NYX concealer because I really like it. I'm going to use a very fluffy brush um, which is going to give us that kind of flawless finish and it's not going to apply too much product. Here's my little Kiko powder. So I'm going to use this beautiful brush. Now is use it as just to take some of the shine down. Um, just I like to roll it onto the skin. So last time we couldn't use a contour product because we didn't have a brush, and now we have this perfectly designed tulip shaped brush, which is going to help us create a lovely contour. I'm just going to get a little bit just on just on the end tap off the excess and just here so we're gonna use the blush and this time hopefully it will look pink <laughs> still gonna use this amazing we love this <laughs> yeah we didn't even mean to have it for this reason it's a waterproof eye base but we've decided it's a highlighter oh I like I like the shape of that I love that it's angled love 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 that it's angled all Look at the difference, just grooming an eyebrow, mate. Because we've styled the brow, we can see exactly where we want to put the product. So I've scraped a bit of the eye base onto my palette. So this is what we applied straight on with our fingers originally. That's better, you can see it. Um, I'm using a red oval sable makeup provision brush I'm not having to be as neat with the lip liner I'm kind of getting it on as a base put a little bit of lipstick on my palette getting it nice and creamy using a pencil brush which is yeah you guys might think it's an eye brush, but actually it's a really good lip brush. You can get a really nice finish, really nice amount of pressure. We've still used all the same products, yeah. but we've just been able to manipulate them a bit more and intensify them a bit more. I love the look, and um, I'm really, really happy with the look. Yeah. Um, We've done both with and without brushes. Um, so you have to let us know what, which one you've liked. What best. did you think? I mean, what did you think? I definitely, as I said through the video, I love using my hands. I do. It's a very backstage thing to do. Um, but I think there's a time and a place. And I just felt lost when you said I couldn't use any brushes. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Definitely with the eyes. Yeah. And definitely with your lips. Um, I needed a brush. Yeah, I needed a brush, people. And what about the cheeks? That was oh a god, struggle, yeah, wasn't it? Powder blusher. It, well, it just the product just didn't. It stuck to my finger instead of sticking to your face. Yeah. So brushes, which were your favourite. So you were loving these, weren't you, because of the angles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What a great shout, Sam and Nick, amazing. Make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye. Bye.